and welcome to Digital Marketing. We're talking today about search engine optimization, or sometimes referred to as just SEO. So what is SEO? Well, search engine optimization is the process of optimizing a website to achieve the highest possible ranking in the search engine result page. And a search engine result page is essentially that page you get when after you type your query into Google or Bing or Yahoo, uh, the first set of results you get, right? And they're usually ordered, kind of. They're not numbered, but they're ordered in a way where there's some results that are close to the top and some that are closer to the bottom. Now, um, the, very, the ones at the very top usually are actually advertisements. And we'll talk about that in a separate uh, video where we talk about search engine advertising. Today, we're going to talk about the natural results that appear usually just below the first set of advertising results, right? Um, so one way to think about it is, right, that the World Wide Web is a haystack. And finding your website can be the equivalent of finding that needle in a haystack, right? There's so many websites out there. How is a user possibly going to find your, 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 your particular needle in that haystack, right? So search engines try to solve this problem. And the goal of SEO is to help guide them to your website for a particular user. Now, fundamentally, you know, it's not like for search engines, there's people who are like, oh, Bob wants pizza sites near Rally. I'm going to go and look, right? Like, they don't do that. They have algorithms based upon data that they previously collected, which tell them which websites to return at the top of the search engine results pages, right? Uh, and then how to order the rest of them. And so understanding those algorithms can really help you. Search engine optimization really is about understanding how those algorithms work and then how that determines the ranking of your website and emphasizing how to emphasize those factors in your website. So before we get too far, let me say that there are two different types of SEO that commonly go on. And one of them I discourage quite a bit, which is black hat SEO. The idea here is that there are some tricks of the algorithms, because they are algorithms, that you can try to fool, right? Uh, you can use things like content forms and keyword stuffing to try and create the illusion that your website is much more popular or is much more relevant to a particular topic than it actually is. Um, they don't really help your customers at all. Uh, they can artificially inflate your rankings at times, but if Google or the engine um, search engine finds out about it, uh, they can essentially result in your website being banned from the search engine completely. And if you think it's hard to find a needle in a haystack when you have a someone helping you find the needle, imagine what it's like when there is no one helping you find the needle. And in fact, there are people pushing you away from the needle, right? So I had highly discouraged Black Hat SEO, um, but it, the, you will run into companies and, and uh, individuals who offer to uh, work in that space, right? What we consider to be the legitimate form of search engine optimization is what we call white hat SEO, which means working within the parameters set by search engines to increase your rankings. Usually this means creating more and better content. Now, in some of these cases, right, it's simply the fact that, you know, the, 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 the search engines don't think that you really need to do anything just for them, right, to some extent. They would rather you just create content, but unless you know what that content should look like, for certain results, it can be difficult to do. And so that's what this talk is going to be about, how to create that content. So what thing, what influences a search engine result page, and especially what influences your rank on that, right? Well, there's kind of five different factors you can think about. One is popularity. The number of pages that link to your page influence its overall results, right? The more pages that consider your page to be a good page, the more likely you are to be towards it. Another one is a measure of authority, right? And so this is how authoritative is this page. And this is usually measured by the kinds of other pages that link to it, right? So if there are other pages, for instance, hub-like pages that link to a lot of pages that link to your page, and you have very few links out, then you're considered to be a more authoritative page in many cases. Uh, relevance obviously plays a big role. The more relevant the content of your page is to the exact search term that's typed in, the more likely you are to appear at the results. Trust, how trusted the focal page is, which is usually measured by whether other inherently trusted sites link to your site. So if a .edu website, for instance, links to your site or a .gov website links to your site, 
then that is considered to be an indication that your site is um, more vocal, more trusted. Now, in some cases, these sites will link and they will add what's called a no follow tab, which indicates that they actually are not kind of endorsing that uh, particular page. But, you know, in general, these kind of links will um, serve in this measure. Uh, and then importance. There's a measure of the relative importance of that site, which is usually determined by the importance of other sites that link to it. I'll show you an example of that as we talk through the, how the page rank algorithm, which is one of the basic algorithms that underlies a lot of this works. So there are two main strategies to increase your search engine results um, relative to these influences. Um, so the first is on-page optimization. You can basically change the content, the code, the structure of your website to make it more accessible to search engines so they can easily find all the content. And also that makes it easier for your users to find. And then there's off-page optimization. This means creating content on your website and encouraging others to link to your website in order to increase this authority, importance, trust, and popularity of your page. By some estimates, uh, roughly 75% of your search engine results rankings is determined by off-page optimization. Only about 25% is determined by on-page on optimization, right? So um, the network within which your page exists is very critical to your overall uh, SEO strategy. So let's take one brief glimpse into the basic algorithm that underlies a lot of the, the search engine results out there. Um, so that's, uh, that's basically the algorithm page rank, right? Now, um, just a small caveat before I get into this, Google now says, says again and again that PageRank, which is the algorithm that their founders, Larry Page and Sergey Brin invented, have played less and less of a role over the years, right? But the basic idea of PageRank is still present in, in the Google search engine results, right? That it's taking into account what websites are pointing to your website, right? So before Google, by the way, it wasn't clear which web page was the most important on a topic. People would try and solve this problem by keeping a curated list of top pages. Yahoo used to do this, right? They used to have a very directory structure oriented thing where you could say, okay, I wanna find a, a, a good uh, website about climate change. And they would, you could go down to earth science and then you could go down to climate, and you would see these websites listed, right? Uh, that of course, the problem with that is that, you know, if there were such a small fraction of, of websites that were actually listed Right, because it took manually entering and curating them. Uh, but the other problem was it was just it, you had to constantly update that, right? Um, and so Larry Page, Sergey Brin, and their colleagues decided that it makes a lot more sense to use the link structure of the web itself to help determine the importance of an individual page. Uh, and this is their original paper that they published on the topic, uh, the page, page rank citation ranking, bringing order to the web, right? Um, and, and one way you think of PageRank is it's, it's basically pursuing the web as voting, right? You can think of PageRank as using links to vote for the best website, as, as proxying links for votes for the best websites. And the more votes a website has, the more PageRank it has, right? So, and then the more PageRank a website has, the more it gets to vote for another website, right? And so essentially this can all be formulated as kind of mathematical problem. Uh, and then when, it, when you solve it, it turns out it's, you know, it's fairly easy to solve. You, you don't need to know necessarily the whole structure and all these kind of things. There are ways to do bounded versions of it, uh, which makes it work really well. And so, you know, in this particular case is kind of a, a, a silly little demonstration of it, but you know, you have this big yellow ball website that for whatever reason has a lot of page rank. And so when they point to the blue ball, that gives them a lot of, of, of page rank. And then they point to the red ball, that gives them some and so forth. And these green individuals, no one points to them, but they all point to the yellow ball and the blue ball and stuff like that, right? And so as a result, of this, they're kind of transferring all this page rank bit back and forth to their system. So there are five main steps in, per, uh, in conducting uh, search engine optimization. One of them is making sure your site is search friendly. You need to make sure that the robots and the crawlers can actually access your site, right? The second is developing a good list of key phrases, right? Um, and so you wanna, so the way search engine optimization often works, right, is that you want to have this list of phrases 
that people uh, the people will often type in when they're searching for something like your web page and th that list should be well manicured and it should be part of the um, the actual the, the, the pages on your website right uh, and you should be creating content around those key phrases right you should also do your best to make the links that point to your website popular uh, and you should analyze your users to find additional ways to optimize by adding new key phrases finding new ways to look at some of the other issues that so before I dive into all that, I'm going to pause and we'll go to the next video.